Hey, good morning. Dan with Ledger Support here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw some coins from an exchange to your Arbitrum account. Let's do it. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is to add a Arbitrum account to Ledger Live. Now, when it comes to Ledger Live, I recommend that you run a recent version of Ledger Live. So in my case, that would be 2.60.0. I recommend you run this version. It's the latest as far as this video is recorded. To check your version of Ledger Live, you can just simply go into settings, about, and the version number is here. So again, I'm using 2.60.0. That's the version that I would recommend that you use as well. If you have a older version, then I would recommend to go on the Ledger website and download the latest version of Ledger Live. Okay, so let's start with adding an Arbitrum account to Ledger Live. So I wanna go into the account section here and click add account. In this little um, search bar here, I can type Arbitrum. You can see here, I've got two options. The first one is actually the Arbitrum ARB token on Ethereum. So if I click this option here, I'm going to actually create an Ethereum account to send ARB tokens. This is not what I wanna do. I wanna click the second option, Arbitrum ETH. So again, be very careful. If you wanna create an Arbitrum account on the Arbitrum network, you have to uh, select the second option, which is Arbitrum ETH. If you select the first option, Arbitrum ARB, then this option will actually create an Ethereum account. So again, I'm going to go with the second option, Arbitrum ETH, and that's the one you should choose if you wanna create an Arbitrum account on the Arbitrum network. Okay. So I'm going to click Arbitrum ETH, continue. Here I'm getting a prompt to open the Ethereum app on my device, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to press both buttons at the same time to open the app. So now it's synchronizing, which means Ledger is looking for existing accounts or for a new account to create. So here's Ledger Live prompting me to add a new Arbitrum account. By default, the name is Arbitrum1. You can change that if you want. So for example, I could call it uh, Arbitrum Ledger, okay? But you can choose whatever name you want. So choose the name and click Add Account. Now it says that my account was added successfully, which is perfect. So I'm going to click Done. So now I'm going to find my newly added Arbitrum account in the list of accounts. And as you can see, my account is sadly empty. I'm going to click the receive button here to generate a Arbitrum address, then click continue. And here's your address, which you also have to verify on your ledger device. So I'm going to use the buttons here to verify the address. I want to make sure to verify every single character. This looks correct. Um, I can copy the address here, which I will use later in uh, the exchange to withdraw my, my ETH. Um, and I also want to validate the address on my device. Now, keeping in mind that if I approve the, the, the address here, the address will disappear from Ledger Live. So I want to make sure to copy it before I approve the, the address on my device. So I've copied it. Now I can go ahead and approve. Okay. Now I can click done. If you need to re-verify the address, then you can go ahead, click re-verify and do the same thing on your device. Okay. So now I'm on my Binance accounts and I'm going to withdraw this ETH here to my newly created Arbitrum account. So let's click the withdraw button here. The coin is selected for me automatically, um, but just so you know, you can send ETH, but also any ERC20 token to your Arbitrum account. Ledger Live supports quite a bit of um, ERC20 tokens as well. So for example, if you've got an ARB token, ARB, this token is also supported in Ledger Live on both the Arbitrum accounts and also the Ethereum accounts. So if you send it, to either account it will show in Ledger Live. Now in my case, I don't have ARB uh, tokens, I just have ETH. ETH is also the native currency of the Arbitrum network. You need it to uh, do transactions on Arbitrum. So this is the currency that I wanna send first to my Arbitrum account. So Binance, but 
any exchange will ask you for two important pieces of information. The first one being the address. So that's the address we generated in Ledger Live. I'm going to copy paste it here. Okay. The second is the network. This is actually quite important uh, because the network will decide on which accounts your coins will end up. Okay. So in my case, I want to select the Arbitrum network, this one. If I mistakenly select the Ethereum network, then my ETH will go back into my Ethereum accounts instead of my Arbitrum accounts. Same thing if you're trying to withdraw an ERC20 token like ARB. If you're trying to withdraw ARB to your Arbitrum account, you'll need to use the same address and you also need to select the Arbitrum network. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually send my ETH to my Arbitrum account. So here's, I need to provide the address. I can do one last verification on my device if I want to seems to be matching so let's approve uh, and again the network should be the arbitrum network the, the amount i'm going to do a max transfer but you can transfer whatever you want and then click withdraw here's a little recap of my transaction you can verify the address one last time the fees as well so keep in mind that every exchange will take a withdrawal fee. This is one of the cool things about using Arbitrum. The fees are very, very cheap, but keep in mind that the exchange will also add a withdrawal fee on top of the network fee to actually move your coins from their accounts to your account. In my case, that looks pretty good. I'm going to click uh, continue. So this step here, I need to provide authentication. I'm going to do this and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I'm done doing the second verification. Looks like my withdrawal was uh, successfully submitted. And it's telling me here that this is the amount I'm going to receive. So again, that includes uh, the withdrawal fee that was taken from my account. And uh, here's the address where the ETH is going to go to. What I'd like to do right now is go on Arbitrum scan here to track the transactions. So here's my Arbitrum accounts here on RB scan, and you can see that the transaction is already logged into my account. So this is how fast the Arbitrum network is. Okay, so I'm back in Ledger Live, and you can see the ETH has successfully been transferred to my Arbitrum account in Ledger Live, which is great. So you can see a new section appeared in my account that's prompting me to add tokens. Um, this list here is the list of all the different tokens that are supported in Ledger Live, meaning that if you send this token to your Arbitrum account, it will show in Ledger Live. If a token is not on the list, it means it's not supported, which means that you can still transfer it to your Arbitrum account, but it will not be reflected in Ledger Live. So you'll have to use something like RBScan to find the token. And if you want to actually interact with this balance, then you might have to use something like MetaMask connected to your Ledger device. One last thing, if your coin deposits doesn't show in Ledger Live after a certain period of time, it might be because you actually selected the wrong network on Binance. So instead of going to your Arbitrum account, then the funds probably went to your Ethereum account. In this case, you can just use Arbiscan just to verify if the coins are in one account or the other. All right, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking for a written tutorial on the same topic, you can go to support.ledger.com, type Arbitrum in the search bar and find all the written instructions to create your account. Um, if you still have any issues, then please get in touch. You can get in touch via the contact us button here to start a conversation with a live agent or send us an email. If you do send us an email related to a transaction that's missing, please include your transaction ID and also your address so we can look at the chain for you and um, locate the coins. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.